Hi, my name is Rachel Berry. I'm 22 years old and a college student. Like most of my peers, I'm facing pretty high tuition costs and always on the lookout for scholarships. I started this school year a little differently. On August 22nd, 2009, right through these doors behind me, my life had an exciting change. I was crowned Miss City of Orange and became an official part of the Miss America organization. I not only walked away with a pretty crown, but with an academic scholarship that went directly to my tuition. Now I've got to tell you, that was the most fun I've had earning a scholarship. And the fun was just beginning. Welcome to Behind the Crown. I'm here to give you an inside look at the role of a local title holder in the Miss America organization. There's much more to it than just the glitz and glamour. You see, this organization focuses on the four points of the crown. Service, style, scholarship, and success. Each contestant also has a platform, an organization or an issue they choose to volunteer for and promote throughout the year. One of the service projects I worked on this year was the Clean for a Day Leadership Workshop for Young Girls. Let's take a look at this year's event. I want to try to be a teacher and pay attention in school. Study, no cheating on tests, be, and be a good student. Queen for a Day is in its fifth year this year. I'm so thrilled that I got to take a year to organize this event and make it the great success that it has been in every year prior. What we do is we focus on the four points of the crown and uh, the four points that we focus on are service, style, scholarship, and success because the Miss America program believes that those four points make really well-rounded women who can go out and help change the world. So it's important to me that programs like this exist to show young women that it's not all about the external looks, that what you are inside and your character and your intelligence and what you want to do when you get older really counts the most. And a program like this, a Queen for the Day, not only talks about exterior beauty, but talks about character and beauty inside. And I think it's very important for young women growing up, especially now. Um, it was started by one of our title holders, Bonnie Carmel, and a former councilman from the city of Orange, Stephen Ambrose and we wanted to just um, reach out to younger people in the community to help them become more aware of the program and also instill the values of the Miss America program in younger children. Something that I was able to do is bring Allison Stoner in this year and I grew up dancing. I believe in dance. I think it's so important for kids to have that physical fitness component to their daily lifestyle and also to develop that coordination and those performance skills. Well, I think this program is great at helping the young ladies build self-esteem and um, just earn life skills. Well, I know that she loves it because she builds a lot of new friendships, and um, I think she particularly likes the, the dance routines that she learns. So what advice would you give to the young generation? Um, for everyone my age and younger, I would just say uh, make sure that you're walking in your own shoes because if you're trying to fill someone else's shoes, you're never going to walk in them right. Um, so you have to be your own person. You all have unique gifts and purposes here on earth um, to fulfill. And if you believe in your gift and you trust that you were created for that specific purpose, nothing's going to be able to stop you. We There's a lot of fun that goes along with being a local title holder. As the ambassador to my city, I've been privileged to attend all sorts of community events, from city functions to festivals and fundraisers. This gives me the chance to spread the word about the Miss America organization within the community. And that's why it's important to always put my best foot forward. So now it's time for some style tips. First stop is one of my sponsors, Platinum Strand Salon. They've got all of the latest beauty products and hair experts. I'm joined with Jerry Morrison here. He's a platform artist and one of the expert hairstylists here at Platinum Strand Salon. So Jerry, Hello. I want you to show me some tips. Okay, have a seat. Okay. The biggest thing I can say is products, products, products. I'm a big believer of if you want your hair to do what your hair stylist does, you need to bring products in with whatever they recommend. You do the best way of uh, Putting that in someone's hands is usually whatever you put in their hair, you put it in their hand and tell them to take a look at it. And then they usually nine times out of ten be like, oh, well, I need that to do what you <laughs> just did. 
So she's already been blown out. Hers pretty soft and straight. You can always just take a little bit, wrap some of it up. Put some hairspray at the roots. Can's are always a good trick. If you don't have a roller or a brush or whatever, you can stick a can in there. Never would have thought of that. A dry look. Get a great little bump on top of the head. That's pretty cool, I, huh? Yeah, that's pretty creative. <laughs> my long hair ground brush right here. I like to get it in there. Oh my gosh. Work it in the hair. I need that in Miss California. No, this is actually from the, the set of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. So it's kind of cool. There, you think so much for your volumizing tips. I'm gonna use I'm, them this summer at Miss California. Should. You should come in and when you get your hair done, I'll take good care of I you. I sure will. Thank come you. visit Jerry Hold at Platinum audience. Strand. So now I'm joined with Mary. She's the esthetician here at Platinum Strand Salon. And Mary, I notice you have such beautiful skin and skin's really important to your health. Um, what kind of tips do you have to maintain good skin? Facials. Facials is very beneficial for uh, all kinds of skin. And what are the initial benefits of, a, of getting a facial? You know, I'm working with uh, Dermalogica and um, this brand is very, very good for skin and with cleansing, exfoliation, and uh, massage and mask, uh, you're gonna be awesome. <laughs> I know threading's sort of a new alternative to mm -hmm. eyebrow waxing. Mm -hmm. So um, I didn't know what threading was, and I bet a lot of people watching don't know what it is. How do you describe threading? Why is it different than waxing? Wax is hot. Hot, yeah, I see you got it <laughs> brewing over here. Hot. Wax <laughs> is good for whole body except face. It's very harsh for, for skin, for face. So I recommend threading. Threading is very natural, very soothing, and uh, it's good for blood circulation, mm -hmm. and it's not hot. Interesting. So how do you move your hands? How do Let you learn to do that? Oh, great. This is regular thread. Okay. So I do like this. And give me your arm. Uh -huh. You have up. hair here? Yeah, here. He's going to come a little closer. Okay. I twist it. And with this part, I grab hair like this. Look here. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's See, smooth. <laughs> it was not hot. And it, it was, was and it was fast. Yeah, fast. Yeah, that's not as scary as And the result waxing. is better than waxing. Great. Well, thank you yeah. so much for oh, your you're tips, welcome. Mary. You're welcome. Next is a visit to Miss California's wardrobe stylist, Nikki Lehman.